I'm telling you, they will continue to lie to your face because they do not expect you to do your due diligence by going to research and see what they're actually saying, whether it's true or whether it's not. What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel Model Renaissance Man. I am Ty Smith. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day or your evening to view my content. Make sure that you follow me on all the platforms you see above and the ones below. Also, clicking this like button right here will allow my content to consistently be recommended to you and it pushes us out there in the YouTube algorithm. It helps big time, so make sure you guys do that, all right? If you would like me to react to a clip, see a clip, music video, whatever it may be as a part of this channel, make sure you go to patreon.com forward slash modern renaissance man the, I, i'm sorry about the spelling up there i'm gonna get a change it is modern renaissance man not the m zero okay so modern renaissance man i'm glad y'all caught that be sure to do that last but not least double check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because people are being unsubscribed to the channel so folks we have to talk about this because y'all know that a lot of stuff has been coming out about fema and i'm trying to slow down uh, i'm trying to slow down I'm doing my best but y'all know that it was revealed and it was they was pretty much ousted that fema spent like over like i don't know something like a, a over a billion dollars in aid for migrants and illegals right yes they did they spent that money on illegals and now you know they're gonna try to backpedal they're gonna try to cover it up because then you have white house press secretary Karine jean pierre who gets right up there and tell you right to your face that it's a lie you know it, it, it's false you know fema didn't use their funding to aid the illegals. Yeah, that's what she said. Check it out. Uh, former President Trump is accusing the Biden administration of using FEMA funding to support undocumented migrants. How is the White House responding to this? I mean, it's just categorically false. It is not true. It is a false statement. Uh, and look, the fact of the matter is, I think Washington Post fact checker uh, did a piece and the headline recently, just moments ago, not too long ago, and the headline was, no, Biden did not take uh, FEMA relief uh, money to use, uh, to use on migrants, but Trump did. I'll leave it there. Right, okay. And but then we'll try to reverse it back on you and then throw it back on the Republicans and all that. That's what they do. It's the Republicans' fault. They couldn't come to a good deal. Watch. Check it out. Here. Um, Secretary Mayorkas had said earlier this week that uh, he was concerned that FEMA didn't have enough funding until the end uh, for the rest of the hurricane season. Now that President Biden has seen the damage firsthand in the Carolinas, Florida, Georgia, heard him say at the podium he may have to call Congress back from recess, what exactly is he waiting for? to be able to make that call. Uh, look, here's the thing. We put forth a pretty substantial, robust, I mentioned this moments ago, uh, to be part of the CR. We were disappointed that it was not part of the CR. And if congressional Republicans were serious, if they were really truly serious about doing something for the communities that was impacted by Hurricane Helene, uh, they would join us in calling for additional funding. This is what we've been doing. And so if they're serious, they would get to, to work and get that done, just like in the, with the border. See, yeah, but the issue is, is that when they talk about these fundings that the Republicans them didn't want to agree to, again, I told you guys the other day, it's because it had other funding in there for a lot of other things that had nothing to do with the Americans. For example, Ukraine, helping some other foreigners, huh? Yeah, yeah. I told you guys, America last, ladies and gentlemen. It had nothing to do that the Republicans didn't want to do. It had everything to do with the fact that they had other things in that bill that had nothing to do with us Americans. And then you get this reporter right here, Jonathan Lemire, who also is acting like Trump was making up these lies about this whole thing of FEMA money going to the illegals. Watch what he say. Donald Trump, meanwhile, he was in Michigan yesterday where he continued to spread lies about the Biden administration's response to the hurricane while bragging about how he handled disasters when he was president. After falsely claiming earlier in the week that President Biden was ignoring calls from Georgia's Republican governor, Trump told his supporters the White House has no money to spend on disaster relief because it's all being spent on illegal immigrants. We had the best four years with hurricanes. We, got, we, we took care of people. Now we have a horrific disaster in North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, and Virginia. 
That's how big this hurricane was. And the Harris-Biden administration says they don't have any money. They've spent it all on — they spend all of their money. They have almost no money because they spent it all on illegal migrants. They stole the FEMA money just like they stole it from a bank so they could give it to their illegal immigrants that they want to have vote for them this season. There is, of course, no evidence to support Trump's claims. That's not stopping some on the right from spreading them, including Elon Musk. Right. And then FEMA even comes out and act like we didn't use any of that money. We don't have anything like that for sheltering migrants or illegals. We don't do anything like that. Well, guess what? It's this thing called receipts. OK, bam. What is this right here? Huh? Tell me what that is right there, ladies and gentlemen. Can y'all tell me what that is right there? Total funding available for the fiscal year 2024, 650 million. Look here. Round one. 275 million, 40.8 million, total 300 some odd million dollars right there. Look at, look at 2023. And what is this for? What is What is that for? Shelter and services program. What they claim that they don't do. Yeah. Okay. So what they'll do when things like this, individuals like me and others out there call them out on their bull crap, they'll try to quickly disassociate themselves from things like that, like we don't have nothing to do with that. We that's not us. We we never done that. We we know uh it, we won't we won't do anything like that. But yet at the same time, Mayor Ocas, however you say his name, look what he says. I mean, he's literally talking about how the funds will be allocated regarding this sheltering. Watch. As you know, Secretary, I helped secure six hundred and fifty million dollars in fiscal year twenty twenty four for the CBP shelter services program to limit the burden on financial the financial burden on local communities. I was pleased to see the notice of funding opportunity published last week that gave Arizona its fair share of the money available. As you know, this money has come quite late. We were just days away from Pima County seizing all activities to process and manage migrants. So what steps is DHS going to take to ensure that additional funds are distributed and that we don't find ourselves in this critical situation in Pima County once again? Um, we announced um, uh, with the uh, first distribution um, last week, we also announced a competitive process for the second tranche of funds under the Shelter and Services Program. We are going to receive uh, applications for it from existing uh, uh, recipients as well as those that are who are first time applicants. And we are very focused on getting the dollars out the door as quickly as possible, as fairly as possible. Then I'll raise you another one. He's going to be talking about how FEMA itself, like, like it's almost like a prideful thing, how they're going to even allocate funds to the program. And FEMA is going to be playing a pivotal role in our shelter and services program that is poised to distribute $363 million to cities and communities in need of funding. So tell me this. I'm going to make this, I'm going to, I'm going to make this a micro a micro section of folks. Chicago was my brothers and sisters there. What he just got done saying, did y'all get any of that to these communities? Did it go to any of you at all? How about East Palestine, Ohio? How about Maui, Hawaii? Did any of these fundings he's talking about, did it go to these communities? No. Want to know why? Yes and no. It went to those communities, but not the communities called blood-born Americans, it went to these illegals. Call it what you want to. My family up in Chicago tell me all day long how landlords of these certain apartment complex completely kicked people out. They looked like, the place looked like it was abandoned. All of a sudden, these illegals show up and it's being paid for by your government. I wonder how that's being paid for. Yeah. That's the biggest thing that we have going on right here is that these officials, they just can sit there and lie to your face because they feel... Like you guys are so stupid that you won't go and check them on this. See, these little clips that were shown here, shout out to Memeology. These clips that were shown in here, most of these events or these, these meetings, these press conferences that they have, usually people, they, they, they don't get shown. Usually those things are being overshadowed by other so-called maybe possible what the news feel is important things that's going on in the world. But the fact that you heard him say it out of his mouth right there. Now what they're going to say? Well, that's not what he meant. That's not what he said. They will sit there and lie to your face because they feel like you're going to be so stupid to take the bait and bite. Plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen. It's right there laid out.
right there. Yeah. Let me know what y'all think of this by putting it in the comments below after this video. Don't forget, if you want to see the next video that I'm doing in chronological order, it's most likely going to be up there. Things that I'm going to do in this channel as a mix of variety will be down here. I am Ty Smith, Mount of Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.